Okay, this video is for selling this uh, Rancilio Silvia modified espresso machine on eBay. Um, the stock Rancilio Silvia is already a really great machine, but um, then when you look at uh, some of its shortcomings and then overcome those as I have, uh, you can turn it into a, a really fantastic machine. Uh, one of the things that I've added is uh, boiler insulation inside so um, the boiler retains heat longer and rebounds from shots faster. Another thing that I've added is a shot light under here so that um, when you're pulling a shot of espresso you can see better what you're doing under here. It's not so dark. If that wasn't there, it's a little bit harder to see what you're doing. Some cool blue underlighting under here. And then, um, and then I've corrected two issues that most, almost every Sylvia will eventually have. One is um, almost every Sylvia will have paint. Uh, the, the paint on the frame will peel and the frame will rust because the frame here is spot welded at the factory before it's powder coated and so between these two frame halves two halves run across two halves run across the back here and uh, where those two halves meet is also right where the three-way valve comes down and exhausts water into the drip into the drip tray and so you'll have water splashing constantly up onto that uh, seam where those two halves meet and because they spot weld the two halves together and then powder coat it the powder coating doesn't get between the two halves but moisture does and you'll eventually have rust so what I've done is I've uh, cut away the welds, taken apart the two halves, uh, coated the entire thing in uh, rust resistant paint, taken, well first taken all the rust off, then coated everything in rust resistant paint and, uh, and given it a nice new paint job with this uh, kind of metallic black paint and, uh, and then uh, drilled holes for the for bolts to hold it together so that you can easily separate it apart again if you ever need to and then put it back together. So that's what they should have done originally from the factory but they didn't. The other thing is that um, if you if you google it you'll see a lot of Sylvia's have the paint on the group head cover uh, the, the chrome uh, peeling off of the plastic group head cover and uh, so I've corrected that by taking off all the chrome and uh, priming and painting this with the same uh, heat resistant paint. So it matches this paint on the on the body and this will not peel or crack. Um, what's included with the machine is uh, two porta filters. One is the stock Rancilio double porta filter the other is an aftermarket bottomless porter filter. So you can use this to, uh, you put your basket in here and then you can use that to see what's happening with your extractions underneath. Also including a blind um, basket, you use this for back flushing your machine. This is important to clean the, out the inside of the machine. and then two baskets for your espresso extractions. In just a second we'll uh, let the machine heat up. Um, let it heat up for generally about 20 minutes to get it nice and hot. And then I'm going to show you uh, one of the nicest things about this PID that I've installed on this machine which is um, its ability to start heating while you're brewing a shot before the temperature drops and uh, allows you to brew shot after shot after shot without any waiting. 
Okay, so we're back. We have the the machine has uh, been warming up for about 30 minutes now, and uh, I have the app running here. Uh, the PID in here is the uh, Me Coffee PID. It does not require a tablet running in order to work. Um, I simply have the tablet running so you can watch the temperature graphs. But really all you need is this light, this light on the front to show you when the boiler is ready. Um, this light will be dimmed um, to, uh, you know, just barely on when the boiler is just maintaining temperature. Um, and then when, when the boiler is actively heating, the light will be very bright and that will let you know that it's not ready. Um, so you don't need to use the tablet uh, all the time, or really any of the time, really, um, just to program the PID. Everything is internal. There's no ugly boxes hanging off down here, getting in the way, um, hanging off the side or anything like that, which, which I really, that is the number one thing that I love about this kit. The, the second thing that I love about this kit is, um, is the active PID. And what that means is that it monitors the brew switch. And so as soon as you hit the brew switch, the, uh, this is the, the, the boiler percent here, and it's kind of like a speedometer. And right now it's at about uh, 5%. But as soon as you hit the brew switch, it knows that you're brewing a shot, and it knows that cold water is going to be rushing into the boiler, and so it goes ahead and turns on the, the boiler so that it can be ready for the next shot as soon as possible. So just to demonstrate, I'll just turn that on, and you'll, you'll watch this needle come up just as soon as I turn on the brew, the brew switch here. See, so you saw the, the boiler switch came up immediately, and just now it's starting to, to recognize a temperature drop. But the boiler already knew that that was going to happen, or the uh, PID already knew that that was going to happen, and already was heating, and it's already recovering. It's all, already almost back to recovering. So that was just a quick little blip of water uh, being flushed out of the boiler. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to brew um, four or five shots in succession. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, brew, flush, uh, you know, wash, wash the screen off and, and wash out my basket. Um, and, uh, and, Grind, grind a new shot and pull that and show you that you can pretty much go quite a few shots um, without having to stop and wait for the PID. Um, so, I mean, this, this little machine can really keep up with the big boys because of this active PID feature. And, uh, and again, you don't need the tablet. Uh, the tablet's not included with the sale. This is actually a really old uh, tablet, Android tablet, a cheap one. You can use any cheap tablet, any cheap Android tablet with this, um, as long as it has Bluetooth and uh, it should work fine. Um, you can get more details about compatibility from the, the MeCoffee.nl website. Um, but everything's there, all those resources are there and, and in the sale. Uh, notes, but yeah, I just want to show you how how successful this this PID is at managing temperature on this machine. So here we go.
The two second brew and then stop is the uh, pre-infusion settings that I have. So I have it set to uh, pre-infuse for two seconds, then pause for five seconds, and then brew. So that's why there's the, the pause there. So my puck is prepped and PID is already back up to temperature for the next shot. I'm using the uh, Nosa Familia Roastery's uh, Full Cycle Blend, in case you're wondering. Really enjoying this coffee. Again, we're already back up to temperature, now starting the shot. Beautiful. Oh, puck stuck. Maybe ground that one a little bit too fine. Pull back on my dose just a little bit here.
Again, these shots are looking gorgeous. Again, you see where I started pulling the shot, the, the machine was back up to temp. So there you have it, five shots, all brewed at the proper temperature on the Meat Coffee PID inside the Rancilio Silvio. These are beautiful shots, beautiful crema, and I will be caffeinated for quite a while after this. Made a big mess, but, uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have all this cleaned up before I ship the machine out. And um, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.